What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Rage Bros Inc. We're playing some Hearthstone today. We're now rank 15. Made this deck that is extremely overpowered. As you can see the first pull was a little too much on the legendary side. Uh, but my god this deck is ridiculous. Uh, last game I had a Ysera and I got the plus 5 5 ability that kills the target after that turn. Uh, and then I had a Faceless Manipulator so I used that on the Ysera the second turn and uh, got two more plus five fives. And then I hit the dude after that the next turn. I hit him for 24 damage altogether. I was like, <laughs> he didn't even realize. He was like, I'm about to win this. I had probably, what, injured? 10 health left. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Hit him for 24 damage. Pretty crazy. So right now we've got our Blood Mage Thaunos out. I don't normally use him for the extra spell power. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and play the Wild Pyromancer. And then hit him. That's going to force him to probably heal to get that extra card. That's not playing very much this next turn. Uh, obviously he's going to kill the Blood Mage if he does decide to do that. Unless he has something else to combat it, which he doesn't. He goes straight for it. Honestly, I, I use the Blood Mage just to get that loot. Uh, not the loot order, but just to get that extra card draw. Because uh, this deck is really focused on getting as much card draw as you possibly can. So we'll take this out. And then we will play Loot Hoarder and end the turn. Ooh, let me turn down the sound. Almost pressed concede. But turn down the sound a little bit there. Alright, much better. So he's going to Shadow Madness, uh, gain control of enemy minion for three or less attack, and he's going to attack my guy there. I think I still... Oh no, he gets the card draw. Wow, that was a really good play there. Well that was not bad at all. So we'll play the Senjin and end the turn. Thank you. I'm having so much fun with this deck. Oh my goodness. I was having a tough time getting past rank 16. Uh, just because it was... Oh, he's going to kill my Senjin. That's not good. I was having a tough time getting past rank 16 because I just... I don't know. The deck I was using, I just couldn't get anything good out of it. Uh, so what we'll do here is we will Aldor. Probably not the best idea to Aldor, but... It keeps that card on and it doesn't let him use that ability when it dies, unless he decides to attack. So, we'll stick with that for now. So far he's gotten really good plays. He killed my Senjin. It's not bad. He's gonna heal himself, I think. Yep, heal himself. So as you can see, I have a ton of legendaries on my deck right now, which is very good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just go with Karen for now. And then go for the throat. Uh, keeping this alive, the Harvest Golem alive, that way he doesn't uh, die and cast that 2-1. It's just less damage to me, so that's good. He's going to face this Manipulator. I'm going to face this Manipulator that, so there's going to be a lot of Cairns on the field right now. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know, you just got to have some fun with it. He's going to be like, really? That's like 84 Cairns on the field? So we're going to face this Manipulator this. I only have one face this Manipulator, unfortunately, but uh, you know what? Reporting for duty. We're just going to go straight for the throat again. Kind of taking a gamble there, because uh, he can extremely buff up his Karen. But we have two Karens, he's got one Karen. It just, this deck is just so silly. It just gets out of hand so quickly. Alright, so he's going to take out that one Karen. That leaves me with another, at leaves me with Bane. Uh, I think this card overall is just amazing. Looks like he's going to take out that Bane which was very smart of him. Uh, what we'll do... I would like to keep that other Karen alive. He's going to heal it, so we're not going to be able to do any damage. Uh, let's see here. We'll go with Tyrion. I think? Yeah, we'll go with Tyrion. And then... take this out. And then go keep, keep going straight for the throat here. There's no point in killing that Cairn. Uh, I could hopefully silence it. Maybe he puts a taunt on it. I don't know what it, what it wants to do. So d that was a good play there, Shadow Word Death. Um, not a big problem, though, because once he kills it, then I get uh, Ashbringer. Oh, but that was an amazing play by him. That was very good. Wasn't seeing that coming. I do think about that sometimes, though. It's always a good uh, point. That's always a good... Uh, gameplay there, that gameplay idea. So, I think what we'll do is 
we eat Sarah and he has mind control next turn, we're screwed. But at least we can get that one play out of that. Uh, let me think about this. I could eat Sarah. Mm. Or I could just play it safe. Let's just eat Sarah. Take the take the the chance, because you know, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? And we'll just keep going for the throat here. Putting ourselves in a gamble, but let's see what we get. Hopefully it's the 5-5. Five five. It is the 5-5. Five five. That nightmare, amazing. Amazing ability. And if he decides to go for the throat, then he's done for. Which he won't. So he did mind control. Unfortunate, but uh, such is such is the way things happen. So <laughs> I kind of you kind of get in that situation where you know what's gonna happen. I mean, let's be honest. He's gonna do that two damage to me without um, that noom. All right. So he's gonna pull a dream card. Now I've got nine damage here. I'm looking for four more damage. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. So what we're gonna have to do is. And I really wish that I had a um, equality, but I do not have a quality, unfortunately. So, what we'll do? Me think. I could nightmare, but I think that's kind of a, a gamble at this point. That's just clearing my own board just to do nine damage, and he'll be able to heal it. So we don't want to put him under that pressure. So what we'll do is lay on hands is a good option. Or I could Earthen Ring, Loot Hoarder, Wild Pyromancer, and get some uh, get some things on the board. And I think that's probably going to be our best bet. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I could lay on hands and get some extra good cards, which would be pretty pretty good idea. But at this point, I think just getting all this on the field is a great idea. And then we'll cause this out. He could play Holy Nova next turn, um, which will clear all of the board, basically. Well, it'll leave two alive, and you just kill those instantly. But I don't think he's going to play a Holy Nova. Well, you know, he, he probably will play a Holy Nova. Nope. He's going to kill that. Well, let's see what you got to do, man. Because right now I've got potential uh, to kill him. Obviously, he's not going to let that happen. This deck, man, is so much fun. I'm enjoying it. So he's going to kill. He's going to try and kill that. He's going to bring out his Bane. Looks like he's got a good charge there. What is he going to use it on? Oh, he's going to use it on Bane. Okay. Not bad. Unfortunately, if he doesn't play... He can't play Holy Nova. He's going to heal himself. So we've got... Oh, cool. We can kill him. That's a GG right there. That is... See what I mean? Like, this guy's, like, gonna be so pissed off. So we'll, we'll hit him up with that. And go boom boom to the face. Sorry, man. That's just the way the game works. Oh, I love that. That is some awesome gameplay there. Okay, so next round, if we win it, we're gonna be ranked 14, and we're just gonna keep going up and up and up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to check this deck out, it is pretty expensive, uh, but you can build it, and I will show a guide on that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw up a like, and throw up that subscribe button, because we're doing some awesome things on this channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.